Batman Dead End was one of the first fan films I watched as a kid. I think I even saw it before watching the Alien and Predator films, but I can't remember. It was made back in 2003 on a budget of $30,000. Boy, did they put that money to good use. So what's the story? The Joker has escaped from Arkham yet again, and it's up to Batman to capture and send him back to the asylum. But this typical Batman story is interrupted when they're attacked by an alien and then by a predator. The film ends with Batman armed with two batterings, surrounded by several alien and predators. Aliens. This film is amazing. The effects, especially for the creatures, are on par with any of their theatrically released films. The acting overall is great. Though I think the dialogue was a bit wonky in regards to the Joker. His exchange with Batman rammed every Batman-Joker story into a few lines of dialogue. Batman creating the Joker, how they both wear masks, how Joker's mask is permanent, that Batman will never kill the Joker. It felt out of place and unnecessary because this film isn't about Batman's relationship with the Joker. Instead of having that exchange, I think it would have been more suitable to have either no dialogue spoken or have the dialogue symbol and in the moment. When you watch the film, let me know in the comments section what you thought about the exchange. Despite the Joker's wonky dialogue, he does have one of the best live-action looks of the character. The film also gave us one of, if not the best live-action portrayal of Batman. His movements are slow and methodical. Some of his shots are so comic accurate it's incredible. You can believe he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a predator and win. The white contacts were also a nice... <clears throat> touch. I'm surprised we haven't had any other live-action portrayal do that, despite being a great way to implement the white eyes of the comic. Speaking of, how are the fights? Top-notch with believable and very brutal choreography. The film honestly speaks for itself. At only 8 minutes long, you'll get a fan film of dedication and love that knows exactly what it wants to be. I would characterize it, this as more of a Batman v. Predator film rather than a Batman v. AVP film. But no matter what you're a fan of, you won't be disappointed. If you do like the concept, Dark Horse has published several crossovers with Batman, along with other characters. Links in the description to Alpha Rookie's videos on the various Alien and Predator crossovers with other franchises. Before I go, I'd like to point out that despite being a fan film, Batman Dead End has been officially recognized, albeit in a small capacity. NECA released figures of the Predator seen in the film. Big Red, Albino, and Wasp. As a Predator fan, I'd really love to see them in an official story down the road. So what do you think of this fan film? Did it really give us the best live-action Batman? Should we see these Predators in an official story? Let me know in the comments section below. Until next time, this is Captain Henson signing off.